What's up, everybody? Jody J. Summers, Child of the System, better known as Spoken Truth. So this is the fourth set of what I did during the month of April and 30 days of writing. Unfortunately, I'm coming to you in a state of distress. The world has lost a great pen and griot in the form of my friend Stormy, the poet with an eye, a.k.a. Paula Blocker. She watched me from the beginning of my career, was there on the second week of me ever hosting an open mic, and nurtured my poetic progress throughout the years. She's been in a lot of events, and she touched a lot of people over the years. Today's set is one that she was keen of, one that she knew a lot about. It is called Trouble with Falling in Love. There are four pieces here. They are Sweetest Kiss, A Letter to You, Part 3, That Comfortable Feeling, If You Decide to Say Hello, and Thinnest Skin. Paula, we miss you. The world will never be the same without you, but you helped so many people spread their wings, and we all see you, and we all love you, and we're all happy that you are no longer in pain. We can, will continue to honor you in whatever way we can. And my next book on my word, this video, and all of my art will be dedicated to you. So without further ado, I thank you for listening. Leave comments. There'll be more information below. And let's begin this set. Trouble with Falling in Love. First piece, Sweetest Kiss. Let's begin. Peace. Kiss me, yes, kiss me so softly, so deeply, so passionately. All others are routinely dismissed. I need passion, intimacy, ecstasy, and bliss. Take me to that place, yes, that place where only you and I exist. Kiss me, but not just a kiss. Make me yearn, make me quiver, make me hunger, weak, want, and need, yes, need, just from that kiss. Tell me why is you, yes, you, that I should share my lips, set my soul on fire, ignite my desire from the moment our lips touch, tip to tip. End peace. Begin peace. Letter to you. Part three. That comfortable feeling. You see, I want that comfortable feeling back. Yeah, that comfortable feeling back. Not the let's screw and go out to eat. See each other every now and then, yes, every now and then, and play games, oh yes, play games with each other's minds until neither one of us makes sense. No, I want that comfortable feeling back. The one where we talk about building a better me and you. Then use the time given to us finding ways to enjoy every moment, yes, every moment, before there's something to do. I want that comfortable feeling back not the you're cute but heck i don't trust you so i'll string you along and hopefully that will change but until then yes until then i'll keep several others in plain view just in case it doesn't work between me and you i want that comfortable feeling back yeah that comfortable feeling back the one where i am only comfortable being with you and everyone else, yes, everyone else is an invader trying to steal the secrets, oh, so many secrets that I share with only you. So we say what only needs to be said, knowing nothing new, no, nothing new can be as precious as our very life, me and you. I want that comfortable feeling back, yeah, that comfortable feeling back. Not the argumentative fight to prove each other's love until we no longer do. Stay with each other. Yes, yeah, stay with each other because we're so scared of something new. Then cheat. Now we done lost a friend in the process too. No, I want that 
comfortable feeling back. Yeah, that comfortable feeling back. The one where we can lay up and laugh. Yes, lay up and laugh until it hurts. Fall asleep to each other's heartbeats. Yes, each other's heartbeats. The only sound that makes us feel complete. Then wake up to the half-sleep face covered in drool. Then kiss you on your other cheek. I want that comfortable feeling back. Yeah, you know that. And I hope that you do too. But I know I will only have it. Yes, I will only have it when I am with you. In peace. Begin peace. One of her favorite ones. If you decide to say hello. If you decide to say hello. Yes. If you decide to say hello. Just know I am not. No, not Captain Saver. No. Now, this doesn't mean I won't listen, though, about certain parts of your life that were quite difficult and <laughs> kept you up at night. <laughs> we all make mistakes and want someone that can relate or at least is willing to reciprocate some form of affection for the life that they have not lived, just the life that they have not lived and only you experienced, who may want a glimpse to be on the other side of the scars, the scars that reside in your mind, and no amount of haze days or drunken rage could give you back the days before you had your sanity ripped away. But I do repeat, sweetheart, I am not, no, not Captain Saver, no. While I would love to suture some of those stitches that I might have exposed that you try and cover up with hair, makeup, skin tight clothes, and her, oh, yeah, that newfound pole in more ways than one. And while I do see your heart, yes, while I do see your heart, with its scars and good intentions. And in that I know we could never truly be friends. Because you see, I need someone to heal my soul. Yes, heal my soul. Not conceal my soul. The queen that will never try and use me or confuse me with the man that stole her heart. Then froze it because he was only doing his part. Now, I know that might sound cruel, but there was a woman before you who said all the right things and touched this right way. But in the end, she left without even a word or two to can say, except to text me and say, thanks for helping me and how you did, but you ain't, and I'm better off without you. Yes, better off without you, even though I still, even though I still, love you. Another one that said, I love you, and all the things it makes me do, but I'm married. So can I have it without reciprocation and real relationship? So no, I am not, no, not Captain Saver, no. But we can be friends though. How? Tell you no secrets and you tell me no lies until we decide to drift off and live other lives. Then I won't be Captain Saver, no. I'll be someone that you know. So, sweetheart, yes, sweetheart, before I let you go, and yes, you know, I am not Captain Saver, no. One last question. What's your name, though? In peace. Begin peace. Thin as skin. I am... Tired, yes, tired of falling in love. I just want someone I can trust. Someone that is not going to instantly, yes, instantly look at me and find a way to deceive me. Or cure, yes, cure the scars that someone else has left upon their heart. I've fallen down too many cracks and crevices, tripped over too many dark spaces and places that tried to keep the light, yes, the light from my heart. It's just understanding that I need the time and patience it takes to learn our individual needs, give up the damage, yes, damage we incurred from bad gardeners who pruned us to fit their specific needs. But I really am tired of falling. It's like I've been on a downward turn of epic proportions. 
spiraling through relationship after relationship, trying to find some specific seed, trying to heal, yes, heal what I felt was missing from within me, trying to cover up those specific flaws other people saw and pointed out with deadly accuracy. And now I'm just here floating. Not even attempting to reach out to the branches that say they may want to save me. Blissfully hitting terminal velocity as I escape the path. Yes, escape the path of all those that did not deserve me. Free floating as I fall in the edges of my inner soul. Waiting, yes, waiting on the foundation that will never let me go. Someone that will hold me so tight that the pieces of this war torn, beaten, bruised, lied to, manipulated, and taken, yes, taken for granted heart will be like it used to. I can no longer spare any funds on malignant beams, only wanting to take trips, fall in lust, argue, yes, argue about life. And remind me, yes, remind me of why I left my ex <laughs> in peace. Again, there's one set left. I will also be dedicating that to Stormy the Poet with an I, a.k.a. Paula Blocker. We love you. We miss you. This is a hard time for us griots and writers and People that came, even if it was just for the trunk treats, you impacted us so much throughout our careers. And we thank you for being a part of our lives. To everybody else out there in the world, keep revolutionizing it. Keep pushing the envelope back until you get the answers that you want. No one's revolution looks like the last. No one's protest looks like anyone else's. And if you have something to say, Get off your screen and do something. That is all. Thank you for supporting the world free of oppression, free of injustice, full of love, and free of racial stereotypes. Much love. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see you in my timelines and uh, thumbs. Always thumbs. Love you, Stormy. <laughs>